Uh, Mr. Bob Bocock has been on cue before. He works for the Aaron Brockovich organization. And you are the, the like you're, you're you're the water specialist, huh? Have I got that right? See, I wasn't here when you were here last time. Water oh, specialist. Yeah, yeah, Robert. Yeah. Good, good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Robert. Uh, yeah, uh, that, that's kind of uh, that, that's one of the better nicknames Aaron's given me over the last 25 he years. Is, is, well, my Aaron has given me a number of nicknames also. <laughs> so the current condition of Bossier City's water problem since the last time you were on Keel and chatted with the aforementioned Ms. McCarty, are things a little better? How are things lining up? Well, we're still getting the complaints from the consumers about the the odors associated with the you know the high doses of chlorine, but I, I think that they're probably getting better. Um, what the purpose of the meeting is tonight is to properly inform the consumer, you know, kind of what happened, what's going on, and how they can prevent this from happening again. It's very important that they have the information that's correct. I, a pardon lot me, I do not have that in front of me. What's the VFW post number tonight? Um, I don't know the actual number. It's, it's on G- Jeter Street. Don't worry about it. It's on okay. Jeter Street. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know the actual post number. 6.30 is several. the big, begin time of the meeting? Yeah, 6.30 to six thirty till we're done. Um, you know, we like to post 6.30 to 8.30. I probably will speak uh, about the information that I have for about 30 minutes, and then we open it up for questions. And, um, you know, if, if history proves out, we get a lot of questions. What are you going to really tell them understand. tonight, Bob? What, what is your message to Bossier residents about the use well, of their water? My, my message tonight with Bossier residents is something, something fishy here. And, and what I mean by that is you have a, a community drinking water system that's, that's advanced over the years. And right now you have the capacity to treat 50 million gallons a day but never go over 25 million. So you have a treatment plant that's an older model that uh, can treat 25 million gallons a day, and you have a new treatment plant that you spent over $80 million on that can treat uh, 25 million gallons a day. So a total of 50 million gallons a day. And then about a year and a half ago, two years ago, you went out and got a private contractor who's actually bragged that they've saved you $6 million on water treatment in the last two years. Hmm. Think about that for a minute. $6 million in the last two years they've saved you. Something tells me they're using the old treatment plant to cut costs. They aren't giving you the water that you're paying for. They're not giving you the water that you deserve. They got caught with some dirt in the system that had the the brain-eating amoeba, uh, um, you know, the capability for that thing to live in your drinking water. And then their immediate response was to back off, flood the system with chlorine that's caused all the trihalomethane issues and consumer complaints. And that should never happen again. And I think that, that when the consumer figures that out, if they spend eighty million dollars on a treatment plant, that they're not getting to use. Bob, par- pardon me. They're just not going to be happy. Mm, yeah. You said just a second ago. Something tells me. You said something tells me they're using the old pl- the old plant. Do you know that for sure? How how would you find that out? And why do you think that? Well, I'm going to be trying to get records. Um, you know, tr- as fast as we've been been working on this system, um, you know, if we can get the records. Uh, you know, we've, we've asked for a, a tour of the treatment plant to go through and see how things work so that we can be better informed. But, you know, I've been doing this for over 40 years. And I'll tell you, you, you can there's certain things you can figure out pretty easily. Uh, when I first came on this show and the week before we got involved, you know, I've reached out. I've said, hey, give us a call. We'll be glad to help. We've, we've done this in other areas. Some of the engineering firms this city's hired are friends and colleagues of ours. We'd like to come in and we'd like to look at it. But as soon as we figured out what was going on, bam, the door went shut. And, and the information is just not flowing as freely as possible. They don't like the fact that we've said that what they're doing is incorrect. We believe that wholeheartedly. What they're doing is incorrect. It's not good for the consumer. It's not good for the, the city. It's not good for the, the infrastructure. You know, to, to do these whipsaw uh, responses and chlorine burns, to bacteria and amoeba in a distribution system is wrong. You need to get out there. You need to prevent this ahead of time. It's not that difficult. It's not going to cost you that much more. But when you take the cheap, quick, easy rope, you're going to get into trouble. And that's exactly what they've done. And if they if, if they were to be ignored and we were to go away, this is going to happen again and again and again. And we see it across the country. Bob Bocock is Aaron Brockovich's water guy. You gonna Are you going to get to tour any of the facilities today? or meet with any city leaders or any of the water, the company that's handling the water system? Is anything like that planned? No, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm working with some of the consumer groups. Um, I'm here in town now. 
I'm going to be driving around, taking a look at what I can see. Um, and, you know, they have my numbers. I'm, I'm pretty transparent. They have my cell numbers. Um, I placed some calls, um, not getting any response. You know, on your show, I made the invitation. Aaron, I think, made the invitation, you know, publicly at, at several locations. Invite us in. We'd be glad to help. 